The cycle layers behavior is the most versatile behavior in all of Character Animator and can take your puppet to a whole nother level. So instead of just having like a pop-up exclamation or hard eyes, we can actually do frame by frame animation with a trigger using the cycle layers behavior. Okay, so let's do it with the hard eyes. Let's make them kind of get bigger and, and cycle through different sizes to give it a little more life. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Magnus and I'm going to go to edit original. So what I wanna do is actually I'm gonna duplicate these hard eyes a few times. So I'll turn the visibility on, select that group, and I'm gonna hit Command C, then I'm gonna hit Command F. That would be Control C, Control F on a PC. And the F is paste in front. So that allows it to paste right on top of it rather than Control V, which would be the middle of the screen. So that's a good one to know. The next thing I need to do is I actually want to rename these. So it's gonna be a cycle. So I want it to start maybe this size and then it's gonna get bigger. So I'm double clicking and just renaming it these sort of three different steps. But right now, nothing really would change because they're all the same size. So maybe step one is this size, but step two, I want them to be bigger. Now there's a few ways we could scale these up. The simplest way would probably be switching now to the black arrow and holding down Option and Shift and scaling them up. Okay, so step two, they're bigger. And then step three, if I select that layer, I could make them even bigger still. So again, I'm holding down Option and Shift together. Now right up now, these would sort of shoot out from the, you know, the middle. I could make the hearts have the same centers, but let's just test drive that. Okay. So now that I've got the sort of cycle of one, two, three steps or sizes, let's go ahead and get all of these in one group. So I'm gonna hold down shift here, select all three of those layers and hit command G. Again, that would be control G on a PC. And I'm going to rename this parts. Okay. Now, when I go back to file and save, when we cruise back to character animator and I hit that same button, I get all of them at the same time. And I don't want that. I want it to actually go through those three steps one at a time. Okay. To do that, I'm gonna to go to rig and I'm gonna to go to the hearts layer and I'm gonna say, I wanna cycle through that. I wanna cycle through these one, two, three steps. And to do that, I'm gonna go over and add a behavior. And again, that behavior is called cycle layers. When I apply that, you can see there are some defaults, which we'll test drive right now. And it's going to, it'll work, okay? And it's still gonna be triggered by the letter S because Hearts has the same name that it had before. If I did change the name, I would have to sort of rebuild that trigger, but I just kept the name the same. So that's why it still works. But when I go to record and I hit S, it just kind of shoots out one time and it's very fast. So let's go ahead and customize that a little bit. So instead of it shooting out quite so fast, I might say, hey, instead of 30 frames per second, and having only one frame, maybe I'll, I'll do it at two frames, which means that it would be playing back at 15 frames per second. So it's gonna give it a little more time, and I don't want it to happen just once, I want it to happen continuously. So as long as I hold the button down, it's gonna loop through that cycle. Let's go ahead and see what that does. So when I go back to record, and I hit D, just kidding, S, you can see I get that nice little animation. And so you can see how using the cycle layers behavior can take your triggers to a whole nother level.